at Ben Day Dots. It's going to be our project for the week. Please go and look at the um, three videos here. So the links will bring you to some good videos about Roy Lichtenstein, pop art, and I believe the uh, kind of work behind it is advertising cartoons and industry is where he kind of got his ideas from. Um, but again, please go through these different Hi, ideas, um, different I'm videos Mariana, to understand a little bit Back about the background of what we're doing. Okay. Um, here are some samples of Bende dots. And if you enlarge this on your screen, you will definitely see dots in here. We're looking at simple shapes as we go through this. And then on here, number four is prepping. We're going to be using our original um, file from the first week. So we'll start here. There are quite a few <laughs> um, steps in this whole thing. So be aware it will take you some time to get through this. So starting in here, let's go and open my Photoshop document. Pull this in here a little bit better. Okay. And our layers. So I'm going right off the slides to make sure things kind of, you know, everything works. You can go off the slides or the video. It should all be identical. All right. We're going to start with cropping the file with a three by four portrait. Um, make sure it's a fixed ratio. I got three by four and simply click and drag in here and grab a size that you think you want to work with. So get a, a decent crop in here. Okay. So this is where I'm going to go here. So once you've got your crop, go ahead and we're going to crop it. Um, image crop. Okay. We're going to deselect. And before we go further, I do want you to check the pixels to making sure that the image is going to be big enough for, you know, good quality on this and a follow-up project. So in here, inches, this is from just a regular Photoshop or a photo off your phone. All right. And coming in here, the resolution is usually low, but the size is very high. So we're just going to look at pixels and make sure it is at least, what, 900 by 1200. If it's more, fine, all good to go. All right, moving on. I'm going to deselect and we'll go to our next step. Okay, up this a little bit so you can see what's going on. In the layers panel, I'm going to unlock the background by double clicking it. Layer zero is default for a new name. That's fine. We'll leave it as is this time around. Okay, we're going to duplicate it and um, name the new layer dots. You can duplicate a couple different ways. Whoop, that's not the way to do it. Here we go. You can duplicate by right clicking on it. You can drag it down to the plus sign. You can go to the fly out menu and duplicate layer. And we're going to name this dots. Okay. Next up is adding a color fill layer in between the two. Remember, whenever you make a new layer, it's going to go above the active layer. So I'm going to click on layer zero and go and add a solid color, a solid, yeah, a fill here, solid color. And I'm just going to grab a blue color and pop this in. So now you've got three layers, two identical and one blue. Okay, moving on. We're going to select the background on the dots layer. Now, what I said earlier, we need to keep the simple shapes. I'm not worried about all the wispy hairs and making this look good like I was putting it into a different background. This is going to be a nice simple shape. So however you want to do it, I'm going to go ahead and use the magic wand tool and start here and make sure I'm on the dots layer. And I'm going to select the background because it is, um, you know, a, almost a solid color here, but it's not because you can tell it's getting different things here. Let me take this off, take my um, tolerance to 30. I'm going to deselect, Command D or select and deselect here and try it again. And if I'm adding to it, I can click here and keep adding and clicking and adding to it. Now, I'm not quite sure I like where this is going. So my tolerance might be too high, but I'm going to go ahead and use my, let's just try this first. We'll go to 24. Okay, deselect, try it one more time. Click here and grab that. I don't, I just want a nice simple shape. So I'm actually going to go to my lasso tool this time. If you've got a solid background and, you know, flat hair, this will work really good for you just using the, the um, magic wand tool. But I'm going to, what am I doing? I'm going to inverse this, select inverse. So I'm selecting the actual, my imagery and not the background. Okay. And 
just for grants, I'm just going to deselect everything. All right. And I'm going to make a new selection. And you can do it this way. Hopefully you don't need to see, I'm not doing such a great job. Um, I'm going to add to it and kind of add in here. But like I said, if you've got a nice solid background on your picture and, and your hair is not kind of fly away, like you've been in the wind, you shouldn't have to do this. You could probably just go to the um, magic wand tool, click on the background. And before we do a mask on this, make sure you're selecting the picture and not the background again it is select inverse so right now i've got my image selected all right i actually fix this a little bit too okay and then go and create a mask all right so there's my mask um doesn't quite match my sample that i've got in there so i'm you know i could always go back and, and fill this in a little bit better we'll just let it go all right so making a selection and then adding a mask so we've done that simple shapes required as it discussed we don't need any fly away here on this here okay desaturating the dots layer let's go to <clears throat> the image menu to adjustments and desaturate why can't i do it the reason why it's not available here is because i've got my dots mask selected and not the actual layer itself all right so let's try this again image menu adjustments um, desaturate so in here we can I'm going to backtrack so that's one way of doing it and then one way of doing it is we did hue and saturation all right and then bring the saturation levels down all right so similar results here hit OK next up is if your image is nice and not nice and flat but flat where it doesn't have a lot of highlights and shadows and whatnot you can go ahead and add a little level adjustment to it so let's go to adjustments two levels and we can move these little um, triangles up adding more white okay you don't want to go too much because that's not going to work we're just going to add a little bit more whites to it and add a little bit more blacks to it all right that's good enough there okay so we modified our levels so it's got a little more contrast going to threshold and we're going to this is going to make a big change here okay um our levels here we want to get a little bit more detail so you can kind of go that's way too much right just kind of go in there and get some detail in here okay that looks good enough to me hitting okay and now a gaussian blur but this helps you get the actual dots that were required later down the road. So filter menu to blur, whoops, to Gaussian blur. And you want two, not 0.2, okay, but two pixels. And you can see how it's blurring. <clears throat> okay, we're going to bring this layer into a new document and modify it in a different color mode okay so what we're going to do here is duplicating this so dots layer selected i'm going to go ahead and hit duplicate layer it's going to be known as dots copy okay and it's going to go into a new document i don't want it in this layer i'm not duplicating i'm going to a new document altogether and hit okay all right, and now you can see that I'm actually in an untitled file right now. We're going to change this to grayscale. Okay, discarding all color information. We're going to change it to a bitmap mode. <clears throat> so it's black and white, and that's all. I shouldn't have any flattened layers, but that's okay. Hit okay. We'll let that go. We're going to keep it at 72 pixels per inch, half tone screen. Okay, make sure this has changed to half tone screen, then hit okay. 
frequency. Here we're going to change things up a little bit. So I'm going to use six, so I have smaller or larger dots, okay, 45 and round. And you can go to 12, maybe you can go, can we go to eight? You can kind of work in here. I'm going to go to six so I actually see my dots. All right, because I've tried this, I know what with my size, my dimensions of my file. I want to go six here. But you may need to go try and do different things, okay? So now we've got the bend aid dots, in a sense, kind of started. Oops, there's my... <laughs> Just going down page by page here. Why isn't it going? There we go, 18, 19. All right, now we're gonna get this ready to go back into our layered file and we're reversing the mode, all right? First going to grayscale. Size ratio is fine. Then going back to RGB, which we're working in, in our layers file in the first place, RGB. Okay, we're going to unlock the background layer so we can actually, you know, take the layer back into the other um, file. So I'll double click here. And we want to, um, I think we're going to half tone screen, I think is what we're going to call it. Let me just check this real quick. Okay, there's our half tone screen. And that's what we got it called. I guess we don't need to call it that right now, but once you duplicate this again, duplicate, make sure it's okay. We'll just do half tone screen here, and we want to put it back into your original layered file. Okay, and hit OK. So now when I go back to the original file, I have half tone screen in here, and I do want to make sure as you should always do, <laughs> do a save as. And this is Becker, Becker, Julie, Bende, Dots. Okay, and you can see I've done some test ones in here. I've gone through this a few times, and I'm going to save this here. So it's still a Photoshop document. And now I'm actually, okay, now I've got my file, which you should probably do on step one. <laughs> All right, so now we have our halftone screen in here. So what do we have in here so far? We've got our original layer. We can probably turn off any time. Um, we've got our blue as a background layer in a sense. We've got the original image um, before we turn it to dots. Okay, half tone screen. All right, moving on. Add a clipping path, clipping path merging the halftone screen onto dots. So clipping path can be done a couple different ways. I'll do it the long way. Um, go to layer, create clipping mask. So now you can tell, okay, it's only affecting the dots layer. It's no longer affecting anything else. So it's clipping onto the dots. And then you're merging. So go down to the flyout menu again. <clears throat> and towards the bottom, there's called a merge down. So it's only merging down. It's not merging the whole thing. You don't want to flatten it. You just want to merge one layer onto another. Okay. And there's our midpoint already. We're doing pretty good. Okay. Duplicate and fill with white. So we're going to duplicate the dots layer. A lot of duplication in here. Duplicate. And like I said, you can, you can duplicate different ways. You can click here. Whoops. On the name itself and duplicate you can click and drag the whole layer to the plus sign we're going to go ahead and click here oops i did it again on the name on the name duplicate layer <clears throat> going to name this white okay we're going to command click on the thumbnail to select the content okay so it looks like it's grabbing everything but it's command click i think it's like alt on the pc um, don't quote me, <laughs> I'm on a Mac. <clears throat> so I've done a command click on the Mac to select the um, content on this layer. And I'm gonna go to fill white. So edit and fill with white. Okay, you've got your choices here. I've got white and hit okay. So that's what we've got right now. I'm gonna deselect here, okay? And I wanna move this layer below the dots layer. So you can see what we've got here. The dots layer, we've got white and, and a blue. And 
my thing does not want to scroll up for me. Let me see if I can get it to work right now. All right, we'll do it the hard way. <clears throat> multiplying the blend mode. So our dots layer, while not multiplying the blend mode. Okay, and now we're going to add a second color. And I'm going to go ahead and just leave it right here and then see what happens, all right? Um, Select a white layer. Okay, so I guess we'll just go ahead and do it right away. Otherwise, it's going to be above. So we're going to take the white layer. We're going to add a new fill icon again, a new color, solid color. And I'm just going to go with a, what's in my sample. Okay, a green. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, now if this was above it, you wouldn't see nothing. All right, so again, dots and a color fill layer. And you know, on through our, our other layers here. Now, if you ever want to change the color, which you're going to do it towards the end of the activity, you're going to double click here and you can use your color picker to choose whatever color you want to. Okay, so canceling there. So you can always modify your color. So I'm not too worried about colors at this point. Name and add a clipping path. So we want this color fill to only affect the white layer. All right, we're going to name this um, figure. And then we're going to add a clipping path to it so it only affects the white shape of, you know, you. All right. So there we've got that clipping path. Okay. And now we're adding more colors. So we're going to grab, I'm going to go ahead and go up a little bit here, grabbing our pen tool. <clears throat> and I'm going to just, oh, before I start, make sure we've got the shape selected. Choose a color. I'll go to pink and no stroke. Okay, and you're going to just going to click and make a path. There we go. So now we've got the lips. Double click and name this lips and return. I'm going to go ahead and click on figure again just so that everything's deselected again. All right, and we'll go ahead and, and make another shape. Um, let's do something on the face. So I'm gonna grab another um, tool down here, your lips tool, to make a shape. It will make a shape already. What fill do you want? I'm just gonna go grab a, a color in here. You can go to CMYK and again, modify things later, not a problem. Okay, shape, no stroke, clicking and dragging. And let's see if I can move this back where I want it to go. Oh, that worked out pretty good. Okay. Did a Command T, which is a transform tool if you need to make it bigger or smaller. And that's up here under Edit to Transform. Okay, or there, there's Free Transform. So there's another color that we've added to it. <clears throat> And my little <laughs> slideshow does not want to scroll on its own, so we're just going to have to come up here and do this manually. All right. On 30, oh, we've got the face shape already. Um, any shapes that you want to put in here? It just depends on what you have on your layout, um, on your picture. I'm going to make this a different shape to my neck, so I can go back to figure so nothing's selected. I'm not messing with any shapes. I'm going to grab my pen tool, and because it's behind the ellipse, and the lips. I'm going to go in here and just easily make a, now this color's wrong, I should have chosen to in my color first. Close the path and I'm going to fill it with a purple color. Okay, there we go. So now we've got more shapes again <clears throat> and more colors. Okay, changing colors is easy to do at any time. If you want to modify the lips, double click here, change your color. I'll cancel. Double click on one of those color fills and change this too if you wish. Okay, cancel. So you can modify colors when you get them all put together, then choose what colors you want to do. Now, the tricky part can be a little um, tough to do here. It's changing the color of the dots layer. So let's do this. So if I want to change the black to a different color, you can leave it black if you wish, or change it. 
what I'm going to do is grab the magic wand tool. The tolerance here is going to be smaller because you just want to grab the black colors anti-alias and don't have contiguous because you want to grab all the blacks not just the ones next to each other and then we'll just click here on a black all right and then we'll make another color fill on top of it to make it nice and easy to modify as we go through um, choose a really really dark blue purple hit OK and there you go And you want to go back, you know, take a look at your, your color wheel and, um, you know, uh, your different color systems that you can use that we've talked about throughout the semester. And, and you know, use your, um, now I'm losing track of thought here for a second, but go to your color wheel if you need to. Whoops. Color wheel. And let's see, different theories, different systems. Let's see. It's not really coming up where I want it to go, but that's okay. Nope, let's not do that at all. <laughs> that's good. Oh, there we go. I just saw it. Here we go. Oh, for Pete's sakes, can you believe this? Another one in here. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Just stop. <laughs> But think of the systems that you've got. You've got your analogous color schemes, you know, and, and whatnot. So choose a color scheme and kind of modify the colors to make this look pretty cool. But that is it. Now it took me hours to get this put together and not too long to go through it. So that's a good thing. Um, any questions, just, you know, get a hold of me.